Uh, our next queen is a member of the House of Homicide. Uh, Go Go Fetch has been trying to make Fetch happen, and it's just not going to. Just like you winning Go To the Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, Go Go Fetch. Love you, Gogo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! First of all, did I get the wrong fucking memo? Because I thought this was a fucking roast. <laughs> yeah, you are, these, these jokes have been way too PG-13. We're going, I don't know, like R maybe, I don't know. <laughs> You know, at first, I was really hesitant when I was asked to be part of the Roast for Little Affair. I was... I thought, oh no, what do people make fun of my recent breakup or call me fat? <laughs> but then I thought, my ex is a fucking asshole and I'm not fat. And only unimaginative, tacky, obvious queens would have to resort to such pedestrian jokes. <laughs> jokes require just about as much creativity as a cat or low drag routine. <laughs> Speaking of cat or low, is she still here? Oh, there she is. I'm used to her running off to Fort Saskatchewan as soon as she's done with her part of the show. <laughs> Honestly though, Kat is one of the fiercest bio performers that have come in, out in Edmonton in a long time. Yeah. Woo! But, girl, are you even in drag tonight? Because she paints her eyebrows the same in and out of drag. Like bricks. Caverlo was recently featured in the Grant McEwen student newspaper. She she ran out, grabbed a hundred copies, and posted the photos of herself all over her bedroom wall. So now all of the photos on her wall are just the same as her drag performances. All the fucking same. <laughs> You know, only one thing comes to mind when I think of Kat. The discount section at Forever 21. <laughs> Girl has a lot of shorts and bodysuits. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Speaking of Forever 21, Vanity Fair is here tonight. Oh. Proving Forever 21 isn't slightly accurate. <laughs> Vanity Fair has had a drag career in Edmonton that spans over two decades. She is a so committed to drag, partially, it gives her a chance to express her artistry, partially, it gives her a vehicle through which she can affect positive change in our community and the various chari charities she champions. And mostly, it's because, as her gay male self, nobody wants anything to do with her. Oh! <laughs> ah, vanity. She's another one of those queens who it's hard to tell whether she's in or out of drag. Let's face it, Vanity. Out of drag, you look more trans than your boyfriend. Vanity <laughs> 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 Fair, the queen who abandoned Lilith as her drag daughter because she found Lilith to be morally bankrupt. <laughs> and hey, who know more? Okay, closer to the mic for sure. Oh, is that better? Perfect. Yeah. And hey, who would know more about bankruptcy than you, Vanity? Oh, <laughs> oh God! What did I do? Let's see who's next on my hit list. Oh, Rowena. Way is it? Your, your drag name is about as memorable as you are. Oh. Also, she looks like Amy Schumer tonight! <laughs> When I was told to make fun of Rowena Babe for this rose, I had the same reaction all of you had when you found out she was going to be here tonight. Who? <laughs> Rowena Babe. Oh my god, I just got it. It's supposed to be like a play on rowing away. Because for... Oh, rowing away. Because first, I wish you would start rowing away. And second, really girl? Robo humor? How 18th century of you. At least, I think they were making fun of rowboats in the 18th century. Fanny, you were there. Can you tell us? <laughs> oh, wait. No, oh, wait. I totally remember now. I have seen Rowena Way perform once. The only time I've seen her perform was at Battle Royale. She dressed up like that psychopathic, clown-faced sewer dweller. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, I got it. Lilith Fair. <laughs> 
<laughs> Speaking of current fairs, Science Fair was supposed to be here tonight. Um, where is she, you ask? I don't fucking know and I don't fucking care because I'm still going to roast her because I need to transition from one loser to the other. <laughs> like a science fair, a child's ill-conceived work in progress that usually just leaves a mess all over the state. <laughs> and just like a child's science fair project, let's face it, even if you did win first place, it's probably because your mother did all the work for you. <laughs> I win Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Still doesn't mean I don't have a crown. God damn it. But you know what? I think <laughs> when I think of science fair, the word first always comes to mind. She is the first to give you a friendly smile and a welcome hug. First baby to come out of Lilith's pussy. Oh, and first to be eliminated from Drake Superstar. <laughs> Speaking of being eliminated in the first round of ends, but coming back and winning it, our current reigning Drake Superstar is here to be in a die for! Woo! I was gonna make jokes about Tabina tonight, but I didn't want an angry mob at my doorstep in the morning. Thanks for the advice, Lilla. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Davina, you're not getting off that easy, obviously. Oh, Davina, die for. Okay. Get ready for this. Girl, the only thing to die for about you is that slice of pizza. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let that be the last pizza joke at Davina's expense tonight because it's really not that funny. It was a very serious situation. And you know, it was very, something very tragic that she survived. <laughs> Davina started out on the drag show called Lip Service, which consisted of Lucy Lips, Can You Do It, Morgan Fair, and Davina. Oh, no. The only <laughs> <laughs> the only one of the bunch that didn't get fucked by Terry Strap on. <laughs> and speaking of fake dicks, Davina, you're fake, and Davina, you're a dick. <laughs> you have about as much right to call yourself a bird as an X-ray superstar as you do a dairy expert. <laughs> And speaking of, <laughs> of queens that won ends but didn't deserve it, Lil' Fair! How many dicks does it take to, for Lilith to, or how many dicks does it take Lilith to suck to win the dra drag competition? One, Rob's. Oh! <laughs> how many dicks does it take for my, oh, for, what's going on there? Oh, how many dicks does it take <laughs> Davina to suck to win a drag competition? I don't know. What's the maximum capacity of evolution? <laughs> take for myself to win a drag competition. I'll let you know when I win one. <laughs> but I'll tell you a secret. No, oh, I'll probably get a little closer. I'll tell you a secret. We originally wanted to roast Ann Coulter tonight, but she was unavailable. So we got the second most hated cunt in the world. <laughs> and of course, when I mean cunt, I mean charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, which she only has one. Spoiler alert, it's nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, Lilith, it takes a lot of nerve for you to show up tonight for a court event. I've never seen someone so hated by the court since Ira Shabashinsky. <laughs> Lilith does get a lot of love and support from her parents. She calls her dad a role model and her mom a superhero. I really wish her mom was a superhero and aborted Lilith before she was born. Now that's what I call preventing a crime. <laughs> I told you it was a roast. God. <laughs> Lilith once compared me to a math book because I'm full of problems. But Lilith, we're both like math books. I'm like calculus, complex, and sophisticated. You're like a third grade textbook. Simple. Easy, and even Rob Borowski can do you. I'm just gonna be taking notes, it's gonna be bad. Uh, <laughs> this is when I get barred. Ah, uh, yes, Rob Borowski! <laughs> The only person more known for dragging little boys kicking and screaming into his office than an elementary school teacher. <laughs> Rob Borowski 
music reminds me of Ivanka Trump. <laughs> Constantly whining on social media, no longer welcome in Nordstrom's, <laughs> and damn lucky they have those family connections. <laughs> is a lot like Donald Trump, known for their bad wigs and terrible makeup, always starting a fight online, and for dating someone way better looking than them. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between Lilith Fair and Jesus Christ? People didn't need to wear blindfolds to nail Jesus. <laughs> come a long way, she has built for herself an impressive career filled with exciting opportunities and glowing accolades. She has really proven herself to be a talented performer, a celebrated comedian, and has improved her makeup skills, crafting herself into a beautiful vision of drag artistry. Thank God someone else wrote that for me. <laughs> Thank God for that big Polish man nose and hairy monkey back, or else I'd have real competition for being pretty squeezed. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end. Thank you so much. This is an all-star group. Like, seriously, you can't get jokes like this out of me. You know, for queens, except for what I have okay. so, uh, You can only get the best jokes from the brightest so Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed the Roast of Lilith Fair done by Coco Pet. Coco Pets, everybody! Uh, Rowena Lee is our next queen. Uh, Rowena and Lilith are not particularly close, but Lilith doesn't have a lot of friends, and we need to fill the panel, so... Wow! Thank you. Thank you for being here. She's very strong. She's not a strong performer, but she's very strong. Uh, she can bench 200 and squat 300, but she can't seem to carry her own show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving away. It's not tall enough. You can like take it out. No, just okay. I mean, fine. Okay. <sighs> standing up here, and when Gogo -Go was standing up here, is going to be the best like ten minutes of the show because of that fucking fur, and I'm not talking about the shawl. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Rowena Way. I'm the woman next door who slept with your husband and gave him syphilis while you were away on a business trip. Come on, Bray. <laughs> what? It's not false. I gave someone syphilis. Anyways. <laughs> Tonight you'll hear from the mother, the sister, uh, the niece, what are you, I don't know, friends of Lilith Fair. It's almost as much as an episode of Game of Thrones with all the incest going on over here. <laughs> I haven't seen so much nepotism on this stage since, oh wait, no, science didn't win Anne's. <laughs> and neither did Gogo. -Go. <laughs> or Secretia. Or Chelsea, or JVR, or Lourdes. Ah, now I get why you ran away. It's all your fault. So, speaking of Game of Thrones, I'm kind of the outsider on this. I kind of feel a little bit like Arya. Every night before I go to sleep, I have my dagger under my bed, I have my hit list in my head, and I whisper it all the queens I have to knock off before I can be drag superstar. But I think that's going to be a long, long way away. <laughs> when I'm sleeping, I'm like, Joan Rivers, circa 2009. Pennywise, the dancing clown. Fido. Oh, I don't think about you. <laughs> and Amanda Bynes, pre-meltdown. <laughs> also, not to mention, not to forget, post-op Richard Simmons. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, two of the queens that I wanted to roast aren't here, kind of like Gogo. -Go. Um, Science Fair couldn't make it, or as I call her, Bob Marley. Um, and Chelsea Horrendous couldn't make it, but she's practically Hitler, so we should be glad she's not here. 
<laughs> so on this hit list, I didn't know who to pick off first. I, like, Davina kind of made it easier for me though, because she tried to pick off herself. <laughs> I sure did. Yeah. It would have been Chelsea, given that she is close enough to the devil, that he'd probably greet her with open arms and a good ass raping. <laughs> but she's not here tonight. So speaking of Davina, first on my list, Davina pretty much has stopped trying to be a good drag queen. That's true. <laughs> Every time she comes on the stage, it is the same face. She's painting the, or painting the same face, she's wearing the same outfit, she's doing the same numbers, and she really just doesn't give a fuck anymore. She only shows up to the shows to rub those titles that she's already earned in your faces and in my face. And she only turns it out when there's a new title up for grabs. <laughs> Davina, here's a title. Go, go fetch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Then there's that hoe over there, Cat Marlowe. She likes to define herself as a thought, but I like to define her with queen song titles. She's got staying power, and she's definitely a killer queen, but she's also fat bottom girl, and definitely ogre battle. I can also define her as a bicycle race, because Urban Dictionary defines a thought as a bicycle. Everyone gets a ride. <laughs> she is a very nice queen, though, although she will be roasting me in a second, so I might take that back. She's given Davina a fabulous nickname, Toe. It's a coincidence that it matches my nickname for a cat, Camel Toe. <laughs> Neither one is really nice to look at. Before I can knock off Vanity, I have to resurrect her from the 1980s. I really want to see her do something like modern drag. I want her to come out on the stage with no pads, no corset, no boobs. So basically Moxie Rider or No Vagina or me. You read my mind, girl. Exactly. Right? Unlike most drag queens, when Vanity go home, goes home at night after a show, she doesn't wash off her drag. She unzips this drag beauty pageant costume and outsteps this monstrous creature, Lilith Fair. <laughs> Who else is here? Right, Gogo. So, I don't think I've ever actually spoken to Gogo Fetch. Hi, Gogo. I'm Rowena. It's nice to roast you. Gogo's hair is usually bigger than her presence in the drag community. It's usually full of Mean Girls quotes and cigarette butts. And that's all I know about her, so I'm gonna have to, like, stop. And then there's our guest of honor, Lilith Fair. So now you're all wondering why I'm here. I have no relation to Lilith. What the fuck are you doing? I got handed a birthday card for some reason. <laughs> It was better than everything. <laughs> For my birthday, I wanted a terrible roast. <laughs> I got it! So the reason that I'm here, Lilith... Charity costs. <laughs> I, it, give to me instead of the other charities. I can use some money to buy better drag. You do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I, it's not like I don't believe the things you're saying about me. <laughs> So, the reason I'm here, I don't like Lilith Fair. <laughs> just kidding. I know, you have to listen to me talk more. Um, I'm just kidding, but I am sure that the reason most of you are here is because you don't like Lilith Fair. And you want to hear all the nasty things that the people who do like her have to say about her. So, really, why else would you be here? That's why I'm here, I want to hear them. So, at the end of this, I'm supposed to give Lilith praise, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you ask why, probably, maybe, no. Because that would be lying! And I won't stoop to her level. When I bottom, I get off my back from time to time. <laughs> so, when I first met Lilith, um, we have an estranged relationship. I read her on my blog for not shaving her chest, like millions of people have done before. And maybe 30 people read it. That's beautifully hairy. And, but this pissed her off for some reason, so she read me on stage in front of hundreds. But I don't 
really blame her. I probably should have expected it. If you're not kissing your, her ass, you're not going to be her friend. But I don't hold it against her. It's not her fault. It's not her fault her mouth is so big it could fit her massive forehead. <laughs> and with those eyebrows gone, girl, it's just getting bigger. <laughs> so we all openly hope that Lilith will fall flat on her face. That forehead is going to break her fall. <laughs> there is no de denying, though, her impact on the drag community and the LGBT community. Eight broken eardrums, five restraining orders, and a persistent strain of chlamydia. <laughs> It's well done. So that's really all I have to say. Um, the hour I spent writing this roast for Lilith was an hour that resulted in weeks of nightmares about Ronald McDonald wigs, Value Village treasures, and someone shrieking elements on the periodic table at me, and I can't handle that stress. <laughs> but despite all this, Lilith, I do respect you. You are a true B-list talent. And one day, you might just make it big by bearing it all for some unsuspecting casting agent who will have to spend the rest of his life in therapy recovering. <laughs> and when the time comes that you have made it, or at least think you've made it, as a big star, just remember, no one truly reaches the height of their fame until after they're gone. Well, Lilith, we're waiting. <laughs>